Iowa farmer makes a life-changing discovery in his backyard while picking up berries. What are backyards for? You sit on a cozy Sunday morning with a cup of tea in your hand and enjoy the weekend. You cherish the greenery around you in this hectic life of yours. Birds chirp and you enjoy the different kind of music they sing while you take a walk on the green grass enjoying the breeze. But what if you suddenly find a crack on the ground that you're walking on and see something hidden inside the fracture that's nothing less than the rarest of things ever found? When a farmer was picking up berries in his backyard, he found an out-of-the-ordinary treasure that changed the course of the history of the Ice Age era. John's a farmer and has been in the profession since his young days. He has a small and loving family with his wife and two teenage sons. John and his family live in a small home built with love in Oskaloosa, Iowa. Farming hasn't just been a profession or source of income for John. It's been more of a hobby since childhood. He loved going to the farms with his father and enjoyed pricking up fresh fruits and vegetables after he'd helped his father in sowing them. John and his family of four lived in a small house that they decorated and designed by themselves. The house had a little living room which was soon going to have a treasure discovery added to its decor. But it was also going to be too big to be kept in a living room as well. John was a lucky man to have a loving and caring family. Though his boys were in their teenage years, they were connected to their family and each member of the family spent time with each other. It was during this time spending with each other that he and his sons found the treasure of a lifetime. One day in 2010, when John and his two sons were picking berries in their backyard, the younger son came across something weird. He pointed out at something he thought was a ball in the creek but didn't know it would turn out to be the biggest discovery of his life. Iowa has given the world some of the greatest personalities like everyone's favorite Ashton Kutcher, Elijah Wood, John Wayne, and so many others. But this time it was going to give the world something that the people of today would never have thought of. Iowa is also known for the great discoveries that have been made at the state. From saber-toothed tigers to 7,000-year-old village, a lot has been discovered in the state. What was it gonna be this time? When John and his family started digging to find out what was inside exactly, they got to know of how rare the discovery was, and it was surprising to see that there was much more to it than what just seemed like a ball in the creek. After digging layers upon layers, the family realized that they were going on the path of finding something huge, not just in value but in size. It was larger than anything they could imagine at the moment they were digging it, and it seemed abnormal to be precise. The discovery was no doubt going to be the most prized possession for John and his family. It was six feet below the surface and it was something never seen before. But the question was what was it and when would John tell the world? After digging for a long time, the family realized there wasn't just one thing under the surface. The moment they found the first hidden thing, they saw another of the same kind under the surface as well. There were several discoveries that were visible to the family and so they decided to call in experts. John called in experts to help him and his sons in uncovering what was hidden inside because it didn't seem like any average find and in large quantity as well. He was worried about not being able to uncover them all properly and he wanted to handle it carefully. By the time the expert team arrived at John's place, the father and sons had already discovered 20 precious things which were so big that when he decided to keep them in his living room, it came as a surprise to see that they didn't even fit in the largest room of the house. The small town family had unearthed one of the largest deposits at the site that could possibly be and it was something even the experts had never seen. What could possibly be so rare and big and hidden from the eyes of the experts? The possession which they just discovered was the rare and distinct for the eyes that John decided upon not telling about the discovery to anyone, hence his surname not being told here. And he hid the treasure in his own living room without informing anyone. Finally, after two years, when a thought struck John that there still might be more to the discovery that had been made, he decided he would officially announce the treasure. After the discovery unveiled by the family, everybody was stunned. The size of this discovery is quite uncommon, said Sarah Horgan, education coordinator at the Museum of Natural History. It was going to be the first of its kind of discovery. Hundreds of volunteers helped John and his family dig up a truly historic piece, which was going to be priceless. It was a fascinating find that was uncovered in the backyard of a farmer who must have not even dreamed of any such thing. I got down on my hands and knees on the bank and I could see a marrow line around the edge of this and I said, boys, that's not a bone, that's a really big bone, John told ABC5. But little did he know the discovery was not ending there, it was just starting. 
When John dug up and reached the bone, it was not just a normal bone, but the leg of a creature too large to even imagine. The knee joint of the leg was in itself as huge as a soccer ball, but what creature could be that big? Apart the leg, the family had also discovered floating and thoracic ribs, feet bones, phalanges, and pieces of vertebrae. And they were all combined and came out of the skeleton as an Ice Age mammoth of a very unique species. The mammoth whose skeleton had been discovered in various pieces was believed to be of a species that was at least 12,000 years old and was extinct by the end of the last Ice Age. It was an ancient woolly mammoth's femur, one of the hulking beasts that used to roam in the region of Iowa during the Ice Age. The family discovered the largest deposits of Ice Age mammoth bones that have ever been produced. John was more than excited about the discovery because he'd always had an interest in archaeology and what could be more precious than what he'd just found. Finding skeletons or bones of ancient animals wasn't something abnormal or unusual in Iowa. What was unique was that so many bones of the same animal were found in the same place. What excited Sarah Horgan the most, according to her, is it's pretty exciting, partially because the mammoth is being discovered where it died. And we know that because we're finding very large bones right alongside very small bones, and the bones discovered could be 100,000 years old or more. Holmes Semkin, a retired paleontologist and professor emeritus at the University of Iowa's Department of Geoscience said, The femur is about four feet long. The ribs of the diaphragm that move when you breathe are two and a half feet each. The ribs that connect to the breastbone are four feet. You could use one as a walking cane. So far, a lot of the bones of the mammoth have been unearthed, but the team believes that there still could be more. Semkin added, We don't know how widely scattered the bones are, but the team is willing to dig for as long as it takes. The question now is, what will happen to the bones of the mammoth after they've all been dug up? The bones really belong to the landowner. Our agreement with him is we get the science, Semkin said in an interview. When asked about just what he would do with a treasure that he'd just found, John said, build another room off the side of the home and put it together? What better way would there be for him to actually give way to his archaeological interests? Amid his coffee table, showpieces, and television in the living area, John now has a collection of enormous woolly mammoth fossils. These woolly mammoths were hairy relatives of African elephants, roughly 13 feet tall and very broad and muscular. By 2015, the bones of not just one but three mammoths were found deep inside John's backyard, where these mammoths once roamed. What was interesting is they all had bite marks in similar patterns, which meant they all died because of the same reason. With three new fossil discoveries, Sarah Horgan is positive and said, what's important to the university is looking at the environmental context that we can recover as a part of this excavation, looking at what Iowa was like at the end of the last ice age. The discoveries are very important to the field of science and John has been very supportive in this context. The geological location for this thing is just ideal, Semkin said. He's very excited about the kind of science we'll get out of it and he fully realizes the value of what we have. To find something that's been part of our history and has existed this long is a very fascinating thought in itself. Things like these give us clues and details about what the world was like before we came. It's the kind of history that won't be able to study in books.